hey 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 team we're talking skincare today i haven't done a dedicated skincare video in such a long time but the time has come so basically if you haven't watched my videos before i used to have really really bad acne for 10 years i had adult acne until the age of 28 29 i went on roaccutane and it, it really helped and um, i was on it for eight months i'll leave my roaccutane playlist down below if you want to watch all the videos I filmed in that time. And since then, my skin has been kind of all right. I get the hormonal breakout every month. My skin hasn't been too bad. In fact, it did really flare up last year because I think of all the face masks we're wearing because of COVID. So I've kind of had like a bunch of products that I have used and stuck to for a long time. And every now and then I'll introduce kind of something new into the mix. But recently I, I treated myself to a new book from Amazon. It's called Skincare by Caroline Hirons. I love Caroline. She's one of my favorite kind of online content creators. She's a goddess of skincare. She's taught me so much about skin. She's helped me with my skin in the past, recommended products to use. And I decided to pick up her book that she released. And it's basically like, yeah, just a guide to skincare. I spent all weekend devouring this and it made me realize I really need to change my skincare routine up because I use like the bare minimum of products and even though my skin's okay, like it definitely could be better. It's still got some problem areas. It doesn't look that glowy or dewy. It doesn't look that healthy. Thought today I would show you my old skincare routine before I read this and then the skincare regime I've put together after reading this. So I hope this isn't too long of a video. I'll try and rush through it as quickly as possible. Or you can do what I do and watch this on like 1.25 speed. I watch everything on YouTube on like double speed now just because it's just quicker to get through, isn't it? Yeah, recommend doing that in case this video is long. There are some products that I'm taking from my old routine into my new routine. There's a lot of new products in my new routine and I'm very aware that they could cause me to break Break out and I may not know what's causing me to break out if I'm introducing loads of new stuff at the same time so I'm I've got my fingers crossed that doesn't happen but I thought it'd also be interesting maybe to document two months on this new routine kind of a daily skin vlog so if you would like to see that let me know and I, I can start filming it oh my god no oh my god oh that was that was intense Okay, this looks like a lot, but these are the kind of products I had on rotation in my old skincare routine. And quite a few of these are gonna stay in the new one, but there were some things that I was missing. So first off, to take my eye makeup off, I would use something like this. I would use a waterproof eye makeup remover. This is the La Roche-Posay waterproof eye makeup remover. More recently, because this one's empty, I've been using the Elemis white flowers eye and lip makeup remover and i like both of these because they're kind of like oily so they really take off heavy makeup with just a reasonable cotton pad i'm going to be sticking with something like this for eye makeup remover next up i would wash my face now for the past however long i only cleanse once and this is kind of where i think i've been going wrong so i would use a couple of different cleansers on rotation the first is the kiehl's cannabis sativa seed oil herbal cleanser i really like this i really like the cannabis sativa seed oil range i think it's really good for blemish prone skin it's not harsh or like stripping it is just kind of nourishing and calms my skin down so i'm gonna keep using this i also used to use the la roche posay effaclair h derma soothing hydrating cleansing cream i started using this when i was on roaccutane and it was a godsend it is the nicest softest most hydrating cleanser i've used it for years ever since roaccutane because i know that it doesn't irritate my skin or depending on the day you know it's good to have a different choice or I would use the Kate Somerville Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser this is a blemish treatment it's got sulfur in it helps to clear and prevent blemishes and draw out impurities I wouldn't use this every day because I do feel like um, it strips my skin a little bit like if I use it every single day my skin will get a little bit kind of dry so that is why I've kind of got three on the go my problem is since reading Caroline's book is 
double cleanse is a big thing and I need to start double cleansing. If you only do one, you're kind of removing the makeup but then you're not giving your skin all the goodness that it needs. So I have added into my skincare a first cleanse because I feel like all of these are quite good for different skin types. Like this is to calm down red and um, blemished skin this is to soothe my skin if it's feeling dry and this is like if I'm really having a breakout then I'll use this. So I feel like I've got like my skincare concern cleanser like sorted but what I didn't have was a cleanser to remove all the makeup first before those can really get like into action. So I've added a cleansing balm into my regime. This is Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have been using this for a while actually. This is what I used to use to to help take my Halloween makeup off because it is really thick and moisturizing because it's an oil it kind of like yeah just like dissolves all of that makeup I like this it does a good job and it makes my skin feel really soft but I think I might try and find a different one because this is so heavily fragranced and I'm worried that the oil and the fragrance in it will irritate my skin and give me spots so that's cleansing that was the old cleanse and now I'm adding a double cleanse in so an extra cleanse to help make sure that everything's off my skin. I need some tea. Now this is where the kind of skin, the old and new skincare goes further away. I'm gonna talk you through my old skincare first and then I'll show you what I'm adding into my new one. So after I take my makeup off, two times a week I will use this. This is one of my favorite skincare products. I love my skin the day after I use it. This is the REN Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It gently exfoliates and encourages cell renewal for bright and more radiant skin. It definitely does that. I love this stuff. And yeah, like I said, my skin looks glowing and pl more plump and clearer the day after I use it. But I only use it a couple of times a week because I don't want it to dry my skin out too much. Saying that, I don't think the acid like level in it, the AHAs are so strong that I couldn't use it every day. If my skin's really bad, I would use my Kate Somerville Liquid Exfoliate. So this is what I would use if my skin is a lot more blemish and congested just mainly on my chin I just swipe it over my chin before I put my moisturizer on just to like yeah help uncongest and declog it's a triple acid resurfacing treatment so then I would apply my moisturizer which is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream I really like this moisturizer it's just super simple like not fragranced just kind of sinks into my skin really nicely and it does the job of moisturizing I would use the Ren overnight glow sleeping cream in the evening if I have blemish like scarring that I want to fade this is amazing I've seen great results in this really like fades any dark spots I've got so I would use that if I needed that I would use the Effaclair H multi compensating soothing moisturizer from Laurish Pose. I've been using this for years. I would use this at night. So, yeah, again, with the moisturizer, it kind of really just depends on skincare concern at that day. Oh my god, I'm forgetting something else as well. Or at night time, I would use the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate. It's like a facial oil, and I really like this. This is um, the second one that I've used. When I use this, the next day my blemishes aren't as red, and so for that reason, I really love it. It kind of just calms my blemish skin down. Yeah, they're kind of my nighttime ones. In the morning, I would switch between two. I would either use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which is um, hydrating moisturizer, super thick. I love this stuff. It really hydrates my skin before I put makeup on, so my makeup isn't gonna cling to dry patches. And then for an SPF, I would use the Origins A Perfect World SPF 40 H Defense Moisturizer. This is the second one I've gone through, and look, I am so nearly finished with this one. I really love it. It smells great, it's really thick and moisturizing, and makes my skin feel really nice. SPF 40, I was like, I can't be going wrong with that. And then <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I started using this. This is really new from Clinique. So it's their Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. But they've got this new thing, I can't remember what it's called, but basically you can add a little serum in there, depending on your skincare concern. So you're getting like a two-in-one double shot. So I've got an Imperfections serum, which I think has got salicylic acid in it, mixed in with a moisturiser for dry skin. And I, yeah, I quite like this. It Like, it, it feels nice that I'm using a serum, because as you can see, I don't use a serum. And then, for... 
And then specifically for spots, because I do struggle with them, I've got a couple of products that I use on the regular to kind of manage that. First up is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Blemish Treatment. This stuff is amazing. You put a little dab onto a reusable cotton bud, you tap it on your skin, like put a dot on it, and then go to sleep and you wake up and yeah it just really really helps it's got a really great amount of ingredients in it magnesium it's got zinc it's got salicylic acid it's just got loads of really good ingredients for drying those spots up i really like that and i will continue to use that and then zit sticker i love these are so expensive but i would definitely repurchase because they really do what they say on the tin <laughs> the box they are micro dart patches and they've got darts in them, like spiky things on them. Press it to your skin on a spot, sleep in it overnight and through the night those darts will dissolve, releasing loads of great ingredients into your spot and it either brings it to a head completely so you can kind of like get on with your life or it will like bring it to the surface so then you can deal with it that way. I love these and I will continue to use these on pesky spots. Okay, that was my old skincare regime and to be honest, there's not much I'm missing from it apart from that double cleanse and a couple more steps that I hadn't been doing before which are super important. The first step I'm missing after my cleanse, my double cleanse, I was really missing a face mist, like something to really hydrate, give added, like a toner I guess, to give added like hydration and benefits to my skin. So I've added three different face mists <laughs> into my regime. The first is the La Roche-Posay Cera Zinc. I've used this before, this is like half full. It's got zinc sulfate solution in it, so it's good for blemish prone skin, I wanna say, and it's good for hydration as well, I wanna say. Caroline likes this, I really like La Roche-Posay and I trust this will hydrate but also kind of clear my skin. I've got the Omora Vixa, Queen of Hungry Mist. This used to have a little bit of a cult following, but I really, really like this since adding it into my routine. I give it a nice spritz. It smells really nice. It wakes me up in the morning. It's great. And I've also added the Murad Hydration Prebiotic 3-in-1 Multi Mist. The reason I added this is because it's specifically for hydrating. It replenishes, can be applied under makeup, prime or after makeup to set. So yeah, I've added this into my regime. Went to get my eye cream and came back with a pussy cat. You okay? We're talking about skincare today. Definitely doesn't help that I constantly rub my face in his fur. He's just so soft. Okay. One thing I was also missing was eye cream. I've got eye creams open, I just was really lazy and didn't use them. So I've started making a real effort to use these twice a day now. The ones that I've got open and are using on rotation is the firstly, the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Cream. It's got hyaluronic acid, moisturizing and tripeptide. Don't know what that means. It's got vitamin C in it and that's really good, I think, for kind of helping rebalance what the environment is doing to your skin. So hopefully it will really like revitalize and help even my skin tone out. I like this, it feels really strong around my eye area, so I don't wanna use this every day. The other one I'm using is a Murad Retinal Youth Renewal Eye Serum, AM and PM. It's got retinol in it. I know that's really good for anti-aging. So yeah, I'm using both of these eye creams. More tea, please been filming this for 20 minutes. Oh, as I said, I'm still gonna be using my exfoliating tonics, my Kate Somerville Exfoliate and my Ren Daily Glow Tonic. After eye cream, I think Caroline says another mist, so I'm gonna use another one of those mists. Then I was missing a vitamin C serum. Now this is something that you don't need I, I think, unless you're over a certain age, I think Caroline recommended it for over 30s to start using a vitamin C serum. And so I have added this Murad Environmental Shield Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. Resurfaces with glycolic acid to enhance vitamin C delivery for dramatically brighter, smoother skin. Use AM and PM. So yeah, I've added this into my regime and I really like the idea of using a vitamin C to help combat like pollution and just like brighten like just make the texture of my skin better I'm loving using this so far I've only been using it in the evening but I get but it does say a.m. and p.m. 
so I technically could do this in the AM too. Then it is time for a retinoid which I didn't have in my last regime, which is so silly because this would really help not only with acne, but also aging. So I have only got one. I've introduced the Medi Kate Crystal Retinol 3. This is a stable retinal night serum, visibly diminished wrinkles whilst promoting healthy radiant skin. I've only used this once so far because you have to build up your tolerance to vitamin A and retinoids. It should be used gradually twice a week for the first two weeks and then every other night for the next two weeks and then every night. So you kind of like, yeah, gradually use it up. I am going to use this again tomorrow night. That'll be the second time I've used it but i'm really excited about this as well because it's definitely time like i'm 32 now it's time to start adding some more anti-aging bits into my skincare routine and then another thing i was missing this all comes before moisturizer between eye cream and moisturizer was like a nice serum depending on my skincare concern like a nice facial oil i've added in two to my routine i'm not sure if this is the right kind of product i think i might need to think rethink this i've added the desia um, the abnormal beauty company hyalamide i wanted one which had hyaluronic acid in to really put the moisture back into my skin after all this exfoliating just to really keep my skin plump Got loads of ingredients in i don't really know what they do i would love your advice if you have a nice hyaluronic acid you use and um, this is the only one i could find in my drawer so yeah i'm going to be trying this out I, I need to research and see if it's actually got like the right amount of product in it and then for kind of blemish prone skin i've got my sunday riley ultra clarifying face oil and this has got 1.5 percent salicylic acid in fast acting quick drying treatment oil penetrates clogged pores for smoother skin and i've been using this in the evening i normally kind of use this here and this here this is my congestion area so yeah, I really, really like this so far. I love the Sunday Riley products. I haven't tried too many of them, but I'm going to be adding more of them to my skincare routine now because yeah, now now's the time. And then it's time for my moisturizer. So um, I've kind of been using the Kiehl's one. I've also been using the Kate Somerville oil free moisturizer because it's not greasy. It says to lay it over your favorite treatment or serum. I'm still going to keep using my Kiehl's oil. I can probably imagine myself keeping on using the Charlotte Tilbury under makeup i've also got a ren ever calm overnight recovery balm this is like a really like balmy thing sensitive skin to make it more moisturized and then i guess the final thing for the daytime that i was really missing was a separate spf and i've always been really proud of myself for using spf like every single day i'll use an spf but it's normally one built into my moisturizer like the origins one i've realized i need a separate SPF. So I've got quite a few that I want to try. I've got one from Ren that I want to try. I've got one from Murad I want to try. But the first one I've decided to kind of use up is from La Roche Posay. It's the Anthelios XL non perfumed fluid SPF 50 plus UVB and UVA rays. Kind of no frills, just does what it says on the tin. It's super thick, but it sinks in really nice and quickly. And I've been using this on days where. I leave the house even if it's a one minute walk to the coffee shop don't don't got nowhere to go these days because covid i need to find maybe a a lighter one that isn't so heavy because i do feel like spf clogs my skin although that could be a little bit of a kind of myth so yeah that was a huge video but i hope you found it interesting if you guys have any recommendations you think i would like or would suit my skin complexion and um, i'm really into my serums and oils i think mainly because i haven't really used them properly before i like the idea of really like putting goodness back into my skin i've only been doing this new skincare regime for the past two days i've noticed that my chin feels like i'm breaking out like nothing's come to a head but it feels like just a bit painful but i am during my period in three days so that could explain that but i'm going to stick with it as i said for the next couple of months and i will film a skincare diary kind of just updating you guys on how this is going and if i make any changes and yeah after a couple of months i'll yeah kind of give an update on how it's been i'll leave links to everything down below as well so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon Mwah.